La 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 la, Josh builds. This episode's prop is from... Brains. So, here's my Return of the Living Dead barrel. Watch this video and you'll see how I made it. A stable hask and an old hinge. Some camouflage Rust-Oleum paint. Some mixed plastic and steel. An old lamp. And this giant barrel. A drill. Old fateful Dremel. Hot glue gun and glue. And this tool. Ignore my drawing skills, but the idea is to basically make a version of the barrel from Return of the Living Dead that can glow, has fog. It's gonna be a fun little build. My main idea is that there's gonna be an access door in the back that I'll be able to access all the electronics and when I put a fog machine inside of it. So this is where I'm going and I'm starting and yeah, let's get to it. Voice over time. Here's the stuff that's inside of the barrel. It smells really bad and it's also like a mix of Gatorade, like orange Gatorade and I don't know. Well, anyway, I took this plastic lid and I traced it around on the top of the barrel so I can get ready to cut it out because this plastic lid is what I'm gonna be use for the window so you can see the zombie on the inside. So yeah, get to tracing that. And then I got out my Dremel and yeah, the Dremel, it, 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 it did the job, but it also didn't. So I had to break out the hacksaw and start hacking away at the top of the barrel. And this hacksaw cut through this like butter. So as I'm struggling to put it on the inside to just start cutting away, cut, cut, cutting away, cut, 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 cut. cut. Also, uh, when you're working with plastic, you should be wearing safety goggles. As you can see, mine are right there, not on my face. So, dumb move on my part. But I wear them when I use my Dremel, which I got back out so I can make another hole for my hacksaw because I had to kind of switch back and forth to both tools. And then, yeah, this should be the last little little section and. Starting to get some progress, and boom, I'm in. And yeah, that's mold. That is mold and orange crap. So I put some Dawn dish soap in, and I soaked it out. And this took quite a bit, because it was gross. Oh, and my tripod just decided to fall. Look at all that gray sky. So eventually my dad, he he uh, he uh saw me struggling, so he's like, here, use my, my saw. And for those of you who know my dad, he likes to be very hands-on, so he got to do everything. And he got to drill some pilot holes, and then we put on the hinges together, arguing the whole time, of course, because that's what we do. It's our father and son dynamic. And eventually, we get these hinges on so we can make the access door. I took a break from the, from the barrel, and I decided to paint the zombie head. This is made out of an old Spirit Halloween mask, and I primed it, and then I started putting all these, like, blood in the crevices. And a little PSA about these Spirit Halloween masks. They're, like, hard plastic. They're not cheap plastic. But if uh, you put some primer on these bad boys and give them a cool paint job, you can get some really cool results. This is my uh, zombie versus my witch, and I really wish I would have done a before and after. But I painted this guy up, put some hot glue on him, gave him a fake eyeball all that fun stuff and then uh actually on the inside there's a flashlight so his eye it glows and yeah so i hot glued this plastic piece in place and then i got this sheet of foam and i kind of like made a fake border around it so it would hide all my crappy cuts now, don't pay too much attention to this top because I do rip it off because I'm not happy with it. And I realized that after I put all this on, it was really hard to get the zombie back in. So I actually repeat this process twice, but it's the same each time. Put the plastic in, put the foam. And then to put the zombie actually inside, I actually hung him there and I drilled a small screw 
on top of the barrel into his chin to mount him there like floating in midair. So I do this twice with some foam and hot glue and some super glue. And then eventually I get out these rivet pieces to make like fake rivets. And those should be coming soon. There they are. So these rivet pieces are just decorative. And I eventually did rip all this off and switch to new rivets or like hemispheres, I guess they are. And they just look like rivets. And then with a little mixture of Mod Podge, I sealed the foam and I do this process both times. And this is just getting the top ready for paint. Also, when you're painting plastic, use primer. I messed that up. And then I also use my heat gun to seal this Mod Podge concoction. And also, heating the foam actually helps seals it so the paint doesn't get absorbed into the foam. I learned that from YouTube. So it's kind of fun. And it's getting ready for paint. So I take it outside on that nice day we had this week and go around with this crappy camo paint that I regret using because it wasn't a primer. But I eventually went out and I got some uh, clear matte primer and I went over this all again and then repainted it with this paint again. It just helps seals the plastic and the paint. And now I'm done with the paint job. And then the bane of this project was these dang stencils. And this took quite a bit of time, but I got them done. And that's how you make it screen accurate. And then I did my first lighting test with a uh, green LED. And then with some age and paint, you're basically done. How fancy. And then when I get my fog machine, it'll help hide the fact that the zombie doesn't have a body. And there's the lamp on the inside glowing up the barrel. This was a fun little project, and I hope you enjoyed watching my video and watching me struggle. And yeah, thank you for watching.